There's one big thing that really keeps on puzzling me after you know years of helping researchers and PhD students write research papers and this thing is why some people still persist in doing all the references manually right every time you know I review a person's paper or a thesis and I see that you know that the, there's so many mistakes in terms of references in it and that person you know has been doing everything manually it puzzles me and it also puzzles me why they persist in you know in the insistence on doing it manually that manually will somehow be better than using a software if you're still doing references manually or you're not sure which referencing program you should choose that's why in this video I want to talk about the main reasons why you want to be using a program called Zotro to completely automate your referencing system and to save yourself so much time that it's not even funny so let's get started if you're new here, my name is Marek Kiczkowek and I run Academic English Now where I help PhD students and researchers regularly publish research papers in top journals in the field. And if you want to work with me more closely, then book a free one-to-one -one consultation and the link is right below this video. So why do you want to be using Zotro? I know that there are other programs out there like Mendeley, EndNote and um, RefWorks, I think. I've personally been using Zotro since my PhD and I want to point out the main reasons why I would choose this software if I had to choose right now and how it can benefit you. So the first really important reason is that it just allows you to download the citation with one click from the journal's website, from a database like Google Scholar, from your university library search engine, wherever that's um, journal paper or book is that you're viewing online just with one click you can download the citation and you'll have all the information stored in Zotro library so you don't have to add any citations manually to the program so it's very fast initially to to get started number two is that you can add folders as well to Zotro so what I mean by that is that you can create a library right where you will have different folders depending on the topics so that you can classify your references as your library in Zotro expands because otherwise it will all be a mess and then you know it will be just difficult to know where particular references are so I like creating folders there as well now another cool thing that I like about it is of course that you know it works on both on Windows and it works on Mac and I think on Linux as well so whichever operating system you're using you can use Zotro um, there as well and it works with Microsoft Word and it works with all main major browsers like Chrome or Safari right so it's very easy to use regardless of what platform you're using right now when you are typing your document in Microsoft Word it's very fast to add citations because you will have a Zotro tab added to Microsoft Word once you've downloaded the program and then you can simply click on add citation choose the style that you want to be using for referencing and then add the citation and then the next thing is that with just one click you can add the reference list right so that's really cool very easy to automate that ref referencing process which otherwise is very very tedious what you can also then do is that with one click you can change the referencing style and this is really handy because imagine you start writing your research paper in APA style for example and then you know you decide to submit it to a journal but it turns out that that journal uses Harvard or Chicago or something else right if you were to do it all manually it would take you years probably to do it it would be incredibly frustrating because it's this sort of like monkey work that nobody likes doing you know because you have to put a comma here a full stop there italics for the titles no italics for the title each style is completely different right you'd be wasting so much time trying to change the references manually on the other hand with Zotro you with one click you go to choose a different style you click on the style that you want to use and then 
boom, the references are done. Now, as you're writing the document, Zotero will also update the reference list for you, right? You can do it yourself just by clicking the refresh button, but you know, Zotero kind of keeps track of which referencing you're adding to the document and which maybe you have deleted from the document because you've changed your text. So this is super helpful because before I started using Zotero, you know, you had to remember that whenever you added a reference, then you had to remember to add it to the reference list. But then you were interrupting the flow of writing and then by the time you added the reference to the list, then you've forgotten what you were actually writing, right? The same goes for deleting a reference. Whenever you change the paragraph and you deleted one reference, you had to first think, is that reference somewhere else in my text? And if it isn't, then I need to remember to delete it from the reference list. That's a lot of thinking that goes into like really nonsensical work and it should be going into, you know, sensible work like writing your paper. Now, in terms of those referencing styles, another cool thing is that, you know, if for some reason the specific referencing style that you have to be using for a specific journal is not in the library, I mean, Zotero library by default has, you know, 99% of the most common styles, but sometimes it might happen that this particular journal that you're targeting, they're just very picky, they invented their own style or they have something very uncommon. Um, you can manage the styles and download additional styles from um, the online Zotero library. So, you know, you're always safe here and you'll be able to find any referencing style that you need to quickly adapt the referencing. A recent update to Zotero made it even better in my opinion because now it can also work as a PDF reader. So you no longer have to switch between, let's say, Adobe where you're reading PDFs um, and then Zotro for referencing, you just have everything in one place. And when you double click on a document in your Zotro library, you can just pull it up very quickly. So this is, this is really cool because, you know, everything is kept in one place and everything is just more simple, right? It's just simplified. And of course, Zotro is free as well. So there are no costs, there is no like, freemium and premium model where you have to pay extra for certain features all of it with all the features is completely free as well which you know is a great bonus as well but i think even if it was a paid software i would still be using it because it's a great software i like it there are no bugs in it and it works really really well and it saves so much time and so much effort that it's not even funny by the way, do you want a complete tutorial for how to actually use Zotro? Then I've got another video on this channel when I walk you step by step through the whole process of downloading the program and then using it appropriately so that straight away after you know five to ten minutes of watching that tutorial, you'll be ready to go and you can start using it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. And if you want to work with me more personally to help you to regularly write research papers, then definitely book a free one-to-one -one consultation with us and we'll meet one-to-one, -one, either with myself or a member of my team, and we'll identify what the specific challenges that you have are, and we'll show you how we can solve them so that you can write more research papers for better journals and the link to book that completely free one-to-one -one strategy session is below this video.